So tell us about how your family began going to Beaverkill. The first time we went to Beaverkill uh, was when my sister Nancy was an infant. That was the first time. And while we were growing up, my, we always had a, a what you call a player now, but a, a gal that was going into uh, a school, but lived with us, you know, sort of a boarding school type of thing, and and, and she would help my mother, et cetera, and so forth, and uh, and so and we always took her up there, and and the first place we went is into the old Wolfley place, which now you own, and. Uh, and it was it was very interesting. Was Mr. Did Mr. Wolfley own it at that point? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you like rented it from we him. Rent. Yeah, we went up there for every September, and uh, no electricity. No electricity. And the lighting was by uh, acetylene gas. Yes. The tank in the back. Thanks. And we had, uh, and the, it was piped into the house, and there was a acetylene generator, and you know, so it chemically made the acetylene glass, so, you, so we could have light at night, okay. And um, uh, and of course, no electricity, so there was uh, no refrigeration, so they had the ice house, which was literally it the was ice, ice house. house. And uh, we would go up there every August, and the ice house would be full of ice that they had harvested in the winter from Clear Lake and, and packed in sawdust. Sawdust, right. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, we, we'd go out there and then we'd chip the ice. And uh, now, uh, it, 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 Nancy was born in 39. So the war had started, okay, and so uh, I can remember that my uh, my uh, uh, father would go down and turn on the car radio and listen to the news of the war. Uh, and that was my earliest memories. Uh, my sister Ellen. Uh, and the, and the windows didn't have counter weights in it, so you hold them up with a with a stick, stick, and she got her hand in there and she broke her thumb or whatever it was, <laughs> broke her hand. So, so one time we had one of these gals that came and helped my mother, I was so afraid of snakes, <laughs> and she saw a snake crawl. Well, of course, there's snakes all over the place down there. You know, garden snakes, no big deal. He saw that snake. She was out of there <laughs> like a flash. <laughs> How was the house heated? With a wood fireplace. Okay. I mean, there was no furnace. I mean, it was, it was the way it is. Because it was just the fall, so it wasn't that cold. No, oh, no, it was not at all. It was nice. It was, it was uh, August. Every oh. August. Oh, August. Okay. And. Uh, you know, I loved it, and well, and then when I got married, and I had my honeymoon up there, not in that house, I I couldn't believe it—the bugs in June. Yeah. Oh, because you had not been there in I've June. I've never been here in June. <laughs> but anyhow, in, 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 in those early days, I mean, that was a wonderful thing. You know, we had a. So you start. You were there, You were about six years old when you started going. Yeah, or maybe seven. Okay. So, you know, so, so around there. And, you know, I, I ran barefoot all the time. I could throw rocks with my my, 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 my feet better, just as well as I could throw them with my, with my hands. <laughs> and uh, we'd go down there and swim and so so forth. And my brother and his friends would go down there and, and uh, they would spear the, uh, the, 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 the fish, which was illegal. And so they, they, they designed 
their, their spear so that it would just about float. So it just really wouldn't stick up for it. <laughs> and we used to go out and uh, we'd catch frogs. And uh, two, two, we had two methods. One was a board with a big nail on it. And the other was with a 22 with, with, with hollow points. Boom! Just pick up the legs because it's all you want. <laughs> so how, how is... How is Beaver Kill different topographically now than it was then? How, what was the meadow? Was the meadow still a meadow? And yeah, the meadow was a meadow. Yeah. And the river's about the same. The river's about the same. Everything's very, very similar. I mean, uh, and then of course in later years, we went to different places. Okay. Like which ones? Uh, we went to the one on. Around the, uh, 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 towards Berry Brook, and uh, it was, uh, I forget the name of the people, uh, Keys, it was the Keys place. Uh, the, the, the running water was a pitcher pump in the, in the kitchen. At the Wolfley house? No, at the Keys house. Did the Wolfley house have running water? They had running water, yeah. Oh, okay. Reservoir. Yeah, because they had a, a spring up there. And it right. Was, you know, gravity fed. Gravity fed. So. But the well, other place had the, the yeah. pump in, in the kitchen by the sink. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, it was interesting and uh, uh, different things would happen. I remember the uh, one of the, uh, Jim, Mc, uh, no, it was not Jim, Mc, uh, one of the McLeod brothers came out there who's a good hunter. And he went and shot a groundhog. Okay. And, and we had we had a gal, her name was, uh, I think it was Eleanor or Elizabeth, one or the other. And she said, yeah, I'll try, I'll try to cook that for you. Oh, so, oh, Ick. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I anyway, think she cooked it up. <laughs> The dog wouldn't even eat it. <laughs> it was that bad. <laughs> so you guys, you guys vacationed there in August, yeah. and then your dad bought the stone house. Yeah. When uh, uh, oh, there's more. Yeah. More in between. But what we would do is we would ride our bicycles up there. Oh. It's about 120 miles. <laughs> And we stayed overnight, you know, three quarters of the way up. So we ride ride our bicycles up, and uh, they always took one of the trucks, you know, pickup trucks to take every all the stuff that we had to do. I remember one time I rode in the back of the pickup truck all the way up there, <laughs> and you know, crazy, all kinds of crazy stuff. And of course that was the time when gas rationing was ration. in, yeah. and uh, so you know. Uh, you, we had to be careful to make sure that we could get all the way there and get all the way back. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, so it was good. Now you were asking, oh, the stone Wait, house. The stone house. Uh, or the steps house. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I'm talking about the current house. When did he buy that? Was that the first house he bought? No. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, he no. owned another house before no. that? The, the step, the, the one with all the steps. I didn't know that. He bought that because we got engaged, and that's where oh. we had the honeymoon. Oh, okay. And I remember going up there one time, and uh, and before we got married, because, you know, I got engaged a year before that, before we got married. And so, we were up there, and... I think it was Nancy and Margaret Ann were in the in the sleeping porch. Okay, and my dad and I were playing chess, and we we're, we're going there. Now I raise chickens. When you raise chickens, you raise rats. 
It's a given. It's just the way it goes. And because you, there's feed and all that sort of stuff. And so I knew rat sign. And so my dad and I, my, my dad says, well, oh, I'm getting tired, I'm gonna to go to bed. And I said, no, 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 dad, you can't go to bed. The show hadn't started yet. Because <laughs> I had set a trap, there was a beam that went right between the two beds. And I set a beam, set a trap up there. I knew damn well that the rat was gonna go across that thing. <laughs> gonna go, snap, bang, blue, on the deck. <laughs> and out come these two cows. <laughs> You knew this was coming. <laughs> and another time, I was out there with my mother and my cousin Ted Churn, and there was a little shed out in the back. And, uh, and they told me they were going to investigate this shed. And so they started looking around and I said, okay. <laughs> and I think it was Ellen and my mother. <laughs> and I. <laughs> I said, okay, Ted, watch this. <laughs> and there was this chest that they were going to open this chest. <laughs> and there was a horror rat. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, Steve, this is the house that you spent time in when you were a kid. When I was a kid, I was a baby. A baby. Well, you know, not baby, but I was small. Do you remember it, being in that house? Only a little bit. I remember watching. Yeah, we, uh, we had it, and uh, we spent our honeymoon there. And uh, during our honeymoon, one of my good friends in, in Plainfield was getting married, and Marianne was the maid of honor, and I was the best man. And we invited them up there. To do it. Well, they stayed there one day because there was a raccoon, and this was the biggest, the fattest raccoon you ever saw. He would come every night. <laughs> well, she couldn't tolerate that at all. <laughs> I got, I had pictures of it in the whole nine yards. Yeah, it's, it's, it's. So he owned that. One. They owned that one for a while. Yep. And then when did he buy the one up the road? Fifties. The 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 White Hill uh, place. Right. Right. Same. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What happened there is that uh, it was a very unusual situation. Uh, White Hill was the architect. And he built the house. Mm -hmm. And 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 if you really look at the way it's built, it is really well done. Mm -hmm. I mean it's not been maintained like it should be as there's so over but while he was living in there the stone walls were just meticulous the gutter i mean the the the, the ditches were meticulous he had everything was just just beautiful and then what happened was he i think his, he had left this for his wife. His wife, Will, left it to their son. So he didn't own the house, but he had, you know, the, the, um, uh, the, the life tenancy or whatever it right. is. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 whatever it was. Uh, I don't even think he had that. And his son started to live in that house. And of course, uh, uh, couldn't maintain it, didn't, didn't do what needed to do, uh, went bankrupt. And so he had his, it was a forced sale. And so, so Whitehall didn't own the house, but owned all the property around it. Mm -hmm. And so my father found out about this. He he bought the house from 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 the son. Okay. Then he went to Whitehall and said, "Look, you know, sorry, it's all happened, blah blah blah, etc. So forth. I'll be more than happy to buy the 
rest of the property from you. And they did. That's why he got the whole big... How many acres is it? Oh, my God, it was long. And, 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 and later on, my dad was going to sell part of it, uh, 11 acres. And I said, well, Dad, I'll buy that from you. And he said, I don't know, I'll give it to you. And he gave it to me. And that's the one that uh, Jane and Steve have now. And that's, I know it was 11 acres. And uh, I don't know how much the other is. So uh, it's, it's pretty big. It must have been at least oh, yeah, 15, really. 16, 18 acres or something like that. Oh, has to be. It has to be. Uh, all riverfront, all my yards. And so that was about what year? <sighs> That I'm not. I, late fifties, no? Hmm? Was it late fifties, fifty-seven, fifty-eight? Man? Good girl, I've been. Yeah. I, I, it must have been the the, uh, the late fifties. I know, I know. It had to be before sixty. Because I can remember going up there with my family while I was still in dental school. Okay. Hmm. So I think it's until I, I don't remember exactly what it was. So what families were in Beaverkill when you were growing up, especially ones that might still be around? Well, the Gordon Sharpless group. Okay. Was always there, um, and uh, those are the ones who I remember. And then the uh, uh, um, the ones that owned the come on oh, names are slipping by me. Um, banks. Banks. Yeah. Freddie. And, and Freddie and, 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 and Margo were all of our generation that were there. And we had a whole bunch of kids when we were kids that we could play together. And then. <laughs> Gordon Sharpless girls, oh my God, scared the living daylights out of me. They had three horses. Mm -hmm. And uh, two were regular size, one was a little bit smaller. So they convinced me to, to ride the horse. Now, bareback, okay? No saddles, okay, bareback. And they, they put me on the little one. Well, the little one would never be behind the bigger ones. And so they took off like thunder. <laughs> you know, in this thing, they would not be left behind. You're holding on for dear life. <laughs> you damn right scared the crap out of me. <laughs> and that lasted until... After Margaret Ann died. That you're afraid of horses. Mm -hmm. And I went out to the Grand Tetons. I was out there, and I knew my father had gone out there many times mm -hmm. and would ride horses out there. And I said, by God, I'm going to do it. And I took a two-hour ride up into the... Grand Tetons on the on a horse. And? And I survived. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was very interesting. Uh, because it, there was the leader of the group, uh, you know, the owner of the horses. He had a family, uh, a mother, a father, and two kids. And then me. And they put me on the biggest horse, because I was the biggest one in the crowd. And 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 we and they put me on their tail end to make sure that everything was all right. And uh, and so away we get all we go up in this. I've never been so sore in all my yeah. life. Yeah. It's different muscles. Oh yeah, yeah. But it was interesting. Yeah. So 
Was Jack Obesny at Beaverkill when you oh, were a kid? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So well, he, I actually, uh, he was later on. He wasn't, not when I was a kid. Teenager? Uh, no, I don't remember him at all. Young it's adult. Oh, uh, yeah. But, you know, I, I, I think he was, he was there, you know, when I was an adult. But did he go there when he was a kid, too? I don't know. I don't. I don't either. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't remember him as as a kid. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I just don't remember him as a kid. Now I remember him. You know, later on. Mm-hmm. And, and I, I, I actually don't know when they built that place. I think it was after I was in college. So. Anything else about Beaverkill that we should? Be recording? Uh, well, you got to trigger me somehow. <laughs> I think that's good. Yeah. All right. End of beaver kill section.